Exceed Games. Falcom. And with that, I welcome you to a new Let's Play of mine. Today, we're going to start playing The Legend of Heroes Trails of, St uh, Trails of Cold Steel, which just released on PC. I'm the Orange Genius, but you may call me Eric, and I previously played the three Legend of Heroes games, uh, Trails, of, uh, Trails in the Sky 1, 2, and 3. And uh, now I was, well, basically talked into playing Trails of Cold Steel, but that sounds wrong. I definitely was very excited for this game to come out. And um, I've also been told to play this on hard, otherwise I'll not get myself challenged enough, so I'll definitely be doing that. Um, this game is not a Trails in the Sky game. The, it's still an RPG, but it's got, I think, action RPG elements instead of being a JRPG type game, so it's going to be uh, different for me. I'll have to adjust to a different combat system, which is a great thing because it's a it's a different game. It's been out for a long time on, uh, on the PlayStation Portable and PlayStation 3, I think, and um, now there is a PC port, so I'm able to play it as well because I do not actually own a console of, uh, that, can, that can play this game. Trails of Cold Steel on a... <clears throat> the great thing is that uh, we finished Trails in the Sky, and the story of Trails in the Sky is technically finished, but this game plays in the exact same universe, so we are still experiencing basically the same story. We're gonna meet m characters that we already know, and um, I am <laughs> I'm probably gonna enjoy those moments when I actually see some characters that I know. For example, the Blood Nine Chancellor, I saw him during the intro. For, for those who haven't seen my Trails in the Sky Let's Plays, um, Trails in the Sky is a game, that, game that, that shines through a, through an incredibly rich and awesome story. It's got great music to support all that, it's got very enjoyable gameplay, and what I've enjoyed the most was the character development, basically. Every ca character feels like a living human being instead of, instead of ju just some design of, of a developer over in Japan like they usually do and um, 
I expect I have very high expectations for Trails, uh, Trails of Cold Steel by now, but seeing that there is a huge fan base for for all of these Legend of Heroes games, I am going to say I'm going to enjoy this playthrough. At least that's what I hope. Um, in terms of uh, video uploading, I'm gonna uh, I, I changed my style of uploading and recording. Uh, basically, everything I record, I will try and upload immediately. The only thing that will delay that is me recording too much, so I can't actually process all the videos before uploading them. But um, we'll see how that works out. I'm playing this on release. It just released an hour ago or so, and um, yeah, that's basically enough talking. I'm playing this in 60 FPS. And I'm playing it with 1980 uh, by by one by by 12. No, what? 1980 by uh, uh, I don't I don't know resolutions anymore. My brain is kind of I I did uh, I, I'm going through a weird uh, phase of jet lag basically because I was working a night shift and now having and now see myself having to change to a day shift again. Even though I've got a little bit of free time, so obviously I'm gonna play this and, uh, well, let's hope I don't have to think so much. Let's get started! I'm gonna start playing a new game. I already did my test recordings, but I still feel the music is a little loud, and I swear I changed that before you did. You didn't actually take that into account, did you? Okay, that should be good. I will, uh, for you, the music is not going to change much because I, I edit, do that in editing usually, but this is just for me. Now let's get started. We saw a lot of different characters in the intro and it's kind of overwhelming. It very much reminds me of my first experience with Trails in the Sky as well. There was an intro and there were like a ton of different characters. There were like 30 characters that that, that just... That there was just more and more and more, and after having played through that entire game, I basically know every single character's life story, so I expect that's gonna happen with this as well. So, we're gonna see. Let me see, I'm playing on hard. Zeptian Calendar, 1204. 31st of August. I think that's after Trails in the Sky the Third. Please correct me. Eastern edge of the Erebonian Empire. Guerrilla Fortress military training ground. By the way, there is English voiceover, and I've been told it's very good, so I'll definitely leave that on for the moment. What's happening? Who's in control of those things? Get in touch with the 4th Armored Division. We need backup from Lieutenant General Craig. smell smoke. Are they using gunpowder? Hmm. They've completely blindsided us. It appears that everything else they've done today was to serve as a decoy, even making the tanks go haywire. Right. It looks like their real target was the railway guns all along, which means they must be serious about targeting that trade conference in Crossbell City. They wouldn't! How low can they possibly sink? So... They're intent on taking the Chancellor's head after all. Resorting to such wanton violence? This is absolutely outrageous. <sighs> Please, let us help. We don't know if reinforcements are on the way, and it doesn't look like we have much time left. We have to stop them before they can activate the railway guns. Green's right. I don't know how much we can really do, but considering the alternative, we have to try. 
Great. I'm not about to let those terrorists have their way. <sighs> Looks like any attempt to convince you otherwise would fall on deaf ears. All right. Reen, you and the rest of Group A are with me. Group B, you'll be under the command of Major Nightheart. One group will secure the gun in the right wing. The other group will secure the left. This is an actual combat situation with real lives at stake. I expect the best from each of you. Yes, sir. All right, Class 7. Our objective is to stop the activation of the railway guns. We've learned a lot at the Academy. It's time to put that knowledge to the test. Understood. Whoa. Switch leader, zoom in, zoom out, move a character, hold A to one. Okay, fear, open notebook on the back button, extend, expand mini map, rotate the camera or reset camera position. We can open the camp menu, cancel an action, open the quick travel menu and confirm to talk to someone. And we can dash, the most important button. Save your progress using the save option in the camp menu. Press the Y button to open camp menu. Yeah, I just read that out, you're right. Let's try this zooming out feature, zooming in. No. Ah, zoomed in, zoomed out. Okay, this is zoomed in. And this is zoomed out. Okay. Hey, 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 bud. Oh, snap. Wanted to talk to that thing. Okay, this is the camp menu. Oh. Okay, we're four people. Hey, class seven. I mean, these guys have names. Aren't they your friends? You've you've been together at school. Add some notes. Uh, oh, those are literally my notes. I haven't done combat. I haven't done orbments. Those exist. Combat links. Cool stuff. Um, dashing. Does dashing work? Good lord. Uh, okay. I'm definitely gonna have to turn down the um, the the options I've got set. Jesus, that's some frame drops right there. Can I dash? Can I play this for 12 minutes like this? No, I can't. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, let's hope the stability is a little better this way. Um, I just uh, changed some of the some of the options to to a little bit lower. I hope my frame drops aren't gonna happen as much. Okay, I can dash. It's slight. It's slight. Right. So switching characters All right. gives me different characters. You all have different weapons. You have a big sword. I have a big sword. You have a big sword, and you have a you have a spear. Okay, I thought I was gonna go through four big swords. That is cool. I uh, did save the game a second ago, and I noticed level 49, 49, 49, 55. Uh, Sarah, you just had a big sword, but why do you have a guns? My turn. Do you actually have a guns though? Leave it to me. Oh yeah, you got a guns. Oh, hurry to the railgun. Oh, the navigation, that's cool. I've got this. All right, um, let's not dilly that all around. We, we want to go through a tutorial here. I could rest, which doesn't really matter right now because I didn't actually lose any, lose any health yet. Here they come. They look just like that thing we fought during our field study. Mechanical monstrosities. Save the talking for later. We need to take these things out. Are these archaisms or is that different? Got it. Bring it on. Okay. Oh, never mind action RPG. That is very JRPG. I'm sorry, that was completely wrong. I didn't know we've got a time bar on the left. Just from the looks of it, it looked like an action RPG. Phalanx, try attacker, R2, view specifics. I don't have any data about him because I don't have an information quartz equipped. Not that I know of that being a thing here. Um, weak against water, strong against earth. And can I cast arts or... Yeah, technically I could cast arts. You've got window and delay so there's exactly the same you have to um you take a while to to cast arts crafts are those elemental no medium area what what 
I can move? Can I move? I can move. Oh, that's... That's interesting. Oh, that's gonna take some adjusting. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Fear. Um, I did play this on hard, so I have to overthink it, basically. I have to. Do it. What? I pushed A. Right. He assisted because he was in range? And now his turn is gone. Okay, fear. You can attack that guy as well. Whoa, that was better damage than John did. You have crafts. Um, why would I not use crafts? Uh, Sarah's up to 156 CP. We've got EP going on. I would expect you know you're the Earth guy. Okay. Movement down is not what I want. Large area of effect. When do you cast this? Let's do this around here. Let's hope for some of those enemies to get a little closer. Nope. He does move. He's got guns. You're directly in range. You take 100% damage from that as well. You've got. You've also got a gun mounted to your head. And then he already casts Ariel. I didn't actually look at the big... Um, Leave it to me. I didn't actually look at your statistics yet. You don't have any anim- uh, elemental um, weaknesses. Good. It appears to be some resources Zepeth as well. Judgment Bolt. These cost zero EP. I've got support and I've got attack spells. Cool. This is a zero arts round. There's... There's... Oh, man. I, that's why all these cost nothing. Cool. Cures abnormal status except KO. Which are better? Medium area of effect. Line. We know those. Let's deal with a small fry first. What kind of crafts do you have? Would it be would it be more, more intelligent to use crafts here? Large area of effect. Sure. Whoa, that was damage right there. Okay, you brought that guy down. He is stunned. This guy is not. He's got speed down one. And did you cast a debuff on yourself as well? I don't know what there is. The, if you look in the bottom, there's things like S, and then there's A and A and S, and there's there's things above the HP bar that, that look odd. Don't know what to make of those yet. Um, you're just going to use crafts as well, as well. You seem like a main character to me. Autumn Leaf Cutter. Motivate an encouraging shout that raises the, to rouse allies to battle. CP plus 10. XL area of effect. Cool. Costs 30 and gives 30 back, basically, on all of the characters. S. Oh, man. Flame Slash. CP 114 used. That's all of uh, all he has. Wait a second. You have... That is that is interesting. It's not 100 or 200 CP. Their, their bars will actually increase with the level they have. Isn't that right? Double S. Oh, let's look at that. Flames, gavel on my plate. Sorry, bud, I'm level 49. Right. Okay, let's take these out. That was a little much playing around. You've got a lot of HP, actually. Can everyone use their ass breakers right now? Radiance Dance. Medium area slices up foes with a blade of light. I don't think that's useful right now. Frost and fire. Medium area of effect. I don't think these particularly care about... Um, I don't think these particularly care about um, arts right now. It's got defense down, movement down, suction, and... Can unbalance? It's an attack. Let's use suction on all of these. Will this also do damage? Yep. Nice. Wow. Yeah, sure, assist. Don't know what that means yet. That was not a lot. Ah, if you look at the... There's the blue line and the red line in the bottom there. 
they like uh, on the character sheets in the, in the in the bottom. So below the CP bar, there's the red line connecting Sarah and um, John, and then there's the blue line connecting blue-haired girl and Mr. Mr. Tall Guy, and that made them be able to uh, interact with each other. Like, I don't know. You have to stand in a specific position for that to work, right? It's my turn. Okay, I'm beginning to understand. Wild Rage, aha, uh -huh. CP plus 50. Hey, do you know a, a person named a gate? Because that guy has very, very uh, similar skills. Savage Fang, delay plus 35, it delays them. Cool, they'll probably die through this as well. Take this. Yeah. Time is precious. We should hurry. A double kill. Double teamed. Extra points. Overkill. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> nice. And those are Zebeth. Cool. What's the resource in the bottom there? Is that my currency? I guess white crystals. They're gonna explain that. No doubt about it. Those things were the same as the one we fought outside Legram. It seems a large number of them are on the loose inside the fortress. Blonde guy and uh, spectacled ga uh, gir girl. Um, where were you during that combat scene? I'm guessing that's what got the soldiers we just saw too. Eating some popcorn on the side, watching? Seems so. So these are archaisms. Mmm. Are you certain, Instructor? Yeah, they're a kind of autonomous weapon made by a rather unsavory group. And a real pain <laughs> to deal with, too. We unsavory need to group. Keep your wits about you. The ultimate antagonistic group in Trails in the Sky was uh, was a group of villains called uh, calling themselves Oroboros, and they are a criminal network that um, is basically connected over the entire continent of Zamoria, and uh, we are going to have to face those same um, villains in this in the Trails in the uh, Trails of Cold Steel games as well. Because I was like I was told mu of multiple perspectives in the comment section during my Trails in the Sky Let's Plays. Obviously, people have already already played them, and they were they uh, people that already played those games uh, interacted with me during that series as well. And some of them already played the Cold Trails in of Cold Steel games as well, and already knew of some characters that were for me only introduced, but for them known for a long time because they played this. It's a very interesting aspect to have multiple different games with the same characters just scattered throughout the throughout the continent uh, throughout the continent, which is like for me a main selling point to this game. But let's hurry on. Let us hurry on, but not in this episode. For the moment, it's enough, and um, I'm probably going to keep playing this. I don't know how much I'm going to play yet, but. Um, so far, I'm enjoying myself, and uh, I don't think, I don't know, with the difficulty of, uh, of the game on hard, I it's probably going to be, I'm probably going to regret that setting, got to be honest there. But it's interesting that the where you can move is not as limited as it was um, in the... In the Trails in the Sky games. We're gonna adjust to new combat and I think for the moment the gameplay is actually more fun than it was in Trail, uh, Trails of Colts, uh, Trails, good lord. Now they're gonna mix up. I'm never gonna get them right again in Trails in the Sky. But for the moment I hope you enjoyed this first episode and um, please consider it's the first episode. Usually that's what gets like the most views or, or where the statistics of the video in terms of likes and dislikes matter the most because of um, the search of the YouTube video on the internet so please leave leave some leave some feedback here I would very much appreciate it and I hope I'll see you throughout the entire series from this point onwards thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye